I know a lot of us recently have been wondering, what exactly is flying above me? Could it be a weather balloon? Did you know the National Weather Service launches more than 60,000 weather balloons every year since the 1930s? And those weather balloons are launched from more than 90 different sites across North America twice a day, every day, including weekends and holidays. And here's a picture of what one of those weather balloons looks like. They inflate them so that their diameter reaches about five feet across. There's a string tied to the bottom of the balloon. And at the bottom of that string is a very important instrument called a radio sonde. This is what it looks like. It's pretty small. It weighs less than about a pound, but it has a lot of really interesting instruments on it that take very important weather data as that balloon ascends in the atmosphere. What it measures, it takes the temperature, the humidity levels, the pressure, the wind speed, and the GPS location every second as that balloon rises. Now that balloon can ascend to 115,000 feet in the atmosphere. For reference, a commercial aircraft typically flies around 30,000 feet. Those balloons can also drift more than 180 miles away from their launch point. And as that balloon rises in the atmosphere, lower pressure allows the balloon to expand to 20 to 25 feet wide before it pops and that radio sonde drops back down to the Earth's surface. Now, if you do find one of those instruments, say, in your backyard, it does come with a, a prepaid envelope that you can mail it right back to the National Weather Service. Now, all that data the instrument collects is very important and goes into our weather models across the globe, like the ones you see right here on ABC7. That helps us to tell, for instance, where an atmospheric river may make landfall or where the winds will blow during times of heightened fire weather.